How's it going trainers and welcome to another Pokemon Go PvP video. Today we're going to be going over some Great League Go Battle League. And we're going to go ahead and invest into my Shadow Zapdos here. So we're going to give it a couple power ups. We're going to go ahead and give it the secondary mode so that it can have Drill Peck and Thunderbolt. And then we're going to go ahead and use my Elite Fast TM to give it Thundershock, which is a legacy move of course. Uh, it's previously only obtainable during Zapdos Raid Day, so level 20 and 25 Zapdos previously are the only ones with access to this. So this is kind of the first chance to get it under 1500, not to mention on a Shadow Pokemon. So we're going to jump right into it, see how it does as a lead. We lead against Meganium, and this is fantastic because we have Drill Peck, and it's going to get to it so, so fast. Now, the one thing to remember as a Shadow Pokemon as a whole is that they're very, very glassy. So we're going to have to shield just about everything that comes at us within reason. So this is going to be a Frenzy Plant. We're definitely going to shield it. Shield it, we're gonna get to another drill peck just before the next frenzy plant. Either take the last shield right away, very soon in the battle, or get blocked. There we go. We get to another frenzy plant. We charge it up a little bit. We're gonna give it our last shield, and then we're gonna have a drill peck right away to try to one-shot the sucker. So there we go. We hit all the circles and we come just short of one-shotting it. We're gonna farm it down with some thunder shocks. And we already have another drill peck and almost a thunderbolt ready. They come in with Bastion on, which is a big no-no, so we switch into Deoxys. We go for Thunderbolt against Azumarill that they switch into, which is fantastic for us. That's gonna do just under half health damage. Awesome. Our shields are down, so we're expecting a play rough or hydro pump from this Azumarill. We get to another Thunderbolt, which is gonna come just short of killing this Azumarill. Just short, they're gonna get to either a player off or hydro pump, which either won't kill, but come um, relatively close. It's a player off, gets us in the yellow, even better. We we'll farm it down with a few counters. Now they just got Bastion left. Now we're gonna go for Thunderbolt because Bastion is a rock type Pokemon, it's a rock steel, so rock types moves will be resisted, whereas the Thunderbolt will be doing neutral damage. Excellent, so we get it just down into the red, we're just going to go ahead and come in with Zapdos and Thunderbolt it right away because it has gotten energy and could have a flamethrower for our Meganium. So I'll finish that right off, GG's. Going into game 2, we're going to lead against a Skarmory. Now this is extremely optimal, of course we're going to have to shield everything that comes at us, but they switch to a Wishcash. Now in my experience with this team so far, Mud Boys are a huge threat for the team. We have to line up our Meganium against it, especially double Mud Boy teams are very frustrating for this team. Wish Cash is by far the most because of this right here. I believe we're about to get blizzarded, and we do, which pretty much almost one hits us and wastes our Meganium. So now we have to come in with our Deoxys Defense. We're gonna let them get those much shots off, so they're gonna do like an eighth, no, nah, almost like a quarter damage, and we're gonna go for Rock Slides, because Thunderbolt is resisted due to its ground subtyping. Rock Slides is gonna do decent neutral damage. Getting into the red, we're gonna try to counter the sucker down, but he gets to a mud bomb. We're not wasting any shields. We want to save all of our shields for the Shadow Zapdos and line it up against that Skarmory. Hopefully, like an Azumarill would be great, or even a grass type that our drill peck can hit. They come in with Skarmory, that's fine. We're gonna to get to a Thunderbolt before Deoxys Defense dies. Awesome. It's gonna do about half health. But they shield it, we get that last shield, so Zapdos is set up. Let me tell you, any Shadow Pokemon in the back of the game like that with two shields is just gonna wreck somebody. And you're about to see firsthand, so here we go. They switch into Toxicroak. Fine, we'll drill peck it and one shot that sucker. Let's see, I miss a dot, a little circle, and it still one shots it. It comes in with Skarmory, and we should be able to get to a Thunderbolt before he even gets to a Sky Attack, which we do, and I believe this should also one shot the Skarmory. Man, Zapdos is deadly in the right situation, so awesome. Going into the next game, we're going to lead against an Umbreon. Now, Umbreon has Foul Play that it's going to get to. It's a really tanky Pokemon. Foul Play is going to do great neutral damage against Zapdos. It's about like half health, so we got to keep that in mind. We're going to go for Drill Peck just because it's the quickest charge move and we expect them to shield. They don't. It does about a little over a third health. That's fine. We're going to shield, though. That's Dark Pulse. That would have been even worse than a Foul Play. We're gonna get to another drill peck. See if they shield. And we get them into the red. Now, they're probably gonna get to another dark pulse and we're kind of gonna have to shield and they're still gonna have two shields. So boom, we're out of shields, they have two. We'll get to another drill peck and they're in a situation where they could shield this. 
and then kill our Zapdos with a one shield advantage. But they decide to take the two shield advantage and come in with an Alolan Marowak. Alolan Marowak is probably the best Pokemon against my specific team of three. It's fire fast move goes good against Meganium, it's ground charge move is good against Zapdos, and Shadow Ball for Deoxys Defense. It's a really good mod against my team, and I have a lot of trouble beating it. It's just that one mod. So we're going to go with Frenzy Plants and just try to get any kind of chip damage we can or take shields, whatever we can, because we're going to need our Deoxys Defense to come in and land some rock slides on this. There comes the Shadow Ball. This could be another Shadow Ball. And it is. Gets us into the mid yellows. We just got to get to a rock slide to stay alive. And we barely do. He had to have just to a bone club at that point. Get the rock slide, almost kill it. He's gonna get the bone club up on us, but we're gonna be able to thundershock this little Marowak down in this situation. Thank goodness. Two, three. We're taking it pretty close. He's gonna come in with Skarmory, and we're gonna try to one hit it out of here with Thunderbolt. Awesome. Almost one shots it, but thundershock finishes it off. Oof, very close. All right, now we're gonna lead against a Deoxys defense. Deoxys Defense has Rock Slide, that is not good for us. We're going to get to a Drill Peck and we're going to go ahead and go for it and see if they shield. Let's see, they do shield, so I think in this situation the best thing to do is to charge our energy after giving up one shield and then switch into our own Deoxys Defense and mirror it. So we're going to charge up to a Thunderbolt and we actually do go for it in this situation, so not quite what I would do nowadays after doing a a bunch of sets with this team since. There we go. We're gonna devote both shields. We're probably gonna charge on energy and then switch to Deoxys. I think I would have saved a shield because we don't know what the team has. And yeah, a shiftery is not good. We're gonna go for Thunderbolt. This will do pretty good, decent neutral damage. It will not come close to killing though. Gets it in the low yellows, sort of. This is gonna be a foul play. This is gonna hurt. Oof. And he should be able to get to a foul play before we get to another move. But our counters are just enough to get it down. Thank goodness. They're going to come in with their Deoxys Defense. We're going to Rock Slide and just get whatever damage we can off on their Deoxys Defense. Easy peasy. Alright, he's going to finish our Deoxys Defense. With a Rock Slide, which is fine because they used their energy. We're going to come in with a Ganium. And we're gonna vine whip it down and go ahead and risk taking this hit. So it's probably a rock slide. It is, gets us almost to half health. We finish it off, we have an earthquake ready for, ready for whatever, and it's a registeel, so fantastic. We need to get to this earthquake and we'll still need a frenzy plant. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the earthquake, immediately switch to Zapdos, and immediately go for Thunderbolt. But they go ahead and just rage quit right at that point. Awesome, GG's. This one's interesting. Against Swampert, we're basically just going to go for Drill Packs because they're going to be expecting electric type charge moves most of the time, so I kind of expect them to not shield in this situation. Let's see what they do. They don't shield, it gets them into the mid yellows. This is a Hydro Cannon. Hydro Cannon does decent damage, so we are going to go ahead and shield. We are a Shadow Pokemon. Let's just remember that. So going into it, we're going to get to another Drill Pack before the next Hydro Cannon. We miss a circle, unfortunately. And we're going to go ahead and shield this Hydro Cannon, and then we're going to go ahead and build up to the next Drill Peck, and then switch into our Meganium right as the Hydro Cannon's coming to try to catch it. So right there. Yep. Perfect. So chances are he's not going to switch. He's just going to let the Swampert die. In this situation, he does, so we get some free energy. Now, this kind of sucks. He's going to have a Skarmory. But as a Meganium, never give up. You're pretty tanky. You could get off two Frenzy Plants before they get to one Sky Attack most of the time, depending on IVs. And it does about a little under quarter health, as you can see. So we're going to get to that second Frenzy Plant. Just do whatever chip damage we can. We have to remember that they are farming against us. And that's going to be important to remember. When we get to this final Frenzy Plant, we know he has two Sky Attacks. going to finish this off. He's in the low red. We're going to come in with the Oxus Defense. Boom, take both sky attacks. And we should be able to counter it down from here in this situation. So first sky attack, second sky attack. If you look closely, the counter damage is doing pretty good thanks to the steel subtyping of Skarmory, so we're all right. He switches to his wish cache. We have to stay, we're gonna rock slide. That's all we have. 
This is a very bad situation. We're gonna rock slide, take the final shield, and immediately switch to Zapdos and get off as many drill picks as we can. It's neutral damage, we'll see what it does. It does decent. We need one more drill pick. We can survive one mud shot. And it was a blizzard. <laughs> oh man. Try to get to a rock slide. Just fall fall just short. And man. Mud boys in the back, especially double mud boy teams with Swampert and Wishcash, are horrible for my line. So that's just the way it is. GG's. We're gonna lead Zapdos against Wishcash again. This is not good. Mud shots come about as quick as my drill pack, so I'm gonna get up to a charge move and immediately switch into Deoxys Defense. They switch into Bastiodon, which is fine with me. Counter fast move is doing super effective damage thanks to its rock steel typing. We're gonna go for the Thunderbolt, because as previously said, it's neutral damage. Awesome. Just before we get to the second Thunderbolt, they're gonna get to either a Flamethrower or Stone Edge, and we're just gonna take it. It's fine. Flamethrower. We're gonna do a Thunderbolt, we'll see if we can take a shield or just finish it off from here. Almost finish it, then counter it down. Now remember, we have Meganium in the back for Wishcash, so they're gonna come with their Wishcash. We're gonna let him Mud Ball us down. It's gonna take two. One. Let's see if he wastes energy on the second one. He doesn't, unfortunately. So we're gonna come in with Meganium. We have to be mindful of the Blizzard. They switch to Venusaur, we switch to Zapdos and immediately Drill Pack. This is going to do a substantial amount of damage, almost one-shotting it. He should be at a Sludge Bomb though, about now, and here it potentially comes. He's not going to Frenzy Plant, more than likely. Either way, we would shield it, so Sludge Bomb, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and farm it down. Now we're going to try to get two Drill Picks off to take both shields away from this Wishcast, so our Meganium could go to town. Drill Pack takes the first shield, Drill Pack. Going for the second shield. He knows we have the Meganium, but he go ahead, goes ahead and gives us the second shield. We have to be mindful to not give up our last shield because he definitely has enough energy for a blizzard at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and take the Mud Bomb and we're gonna just immediately switch to Meganium since he just exerted energy. We're gonna shield, this is definitely a blizzard, and it is. And all we gotta do is get to a Frenzy Plant. Oh, a little bit of lag, but we still get it. And this will definitely be GG's. Ugh, wish caches, man. They're everywhere in rank 8. <laughs> Next game. We got Zapdos up against Hypno. This is a bit of an awkward one. We're gonna get to Drill Packs decently fast, and it's gonna do about a third health, I believe. But we're gonna go ahead and just switch right away to the Oxus Defense in this situation. We know this could be a Shadow Ball. And it is. No baiting in this situation. He comes up with a Lola Marowak. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. We... As I said, Ola Marowak is the worst thing for my team. We could get these rock slides off right away while we still have full health on our Deoxys defense and devote the shields if we think it's Shadow Ball. So a rock slide to try to take the final shield or get the KO. Oh, well, not the KO, we'll get decent damage on it. This can be a Shadow Ball, but we will survive one. It's a Bone Club. All right, now we're at Shadow Ball KO range, so we will have to shield if he gets another. But we choose not to, we're confident that our Meganium can just get to a Frenzy Plant and take care of this at this point. Let's see. Yep, Meganium. We are taking super effective damage, but as you can see, he can only get to a Bone Club in time. Boom. That's alright, that's nothing. It's just chip damage, if anything. We get to the Frenzy Plant. Shields are down. Oh, no they're not. We both have one. <laughs> Still get rid of it nonetheless, thank goodness. He's coming up with the Zimmeral, that's absolutely fine. We can survive uh, at this point, no we cannot. He's coming up with Hypno up right upon our Frenzy Plant. Which is okay, because in this situation we basically want the Meganium up against the Hypno and the Zapdos up against the Zoomeral. We gotta remember a Zoomeral has energy at this point, so we're gonna go ahead and opt not to shield and let Meganium go, but it's just a Thunder Punch. We're gonna go ahead and get to that Frenzy Plant thanks to that. This is going to do decent damage, so now when we come in, oh, even better, we take the final shield. This is perfect. We're going to come in with Zapdos, and we're probably going to Drill Peck it right away. And then all we got to do is get to one Thunderbolt to knock out that Azumarill, and we still have one shield, as I miss several circles. Ugh. There we go, we got to get to one Thunderbolt. And we do, before it even gets to the Ice Beam, it's probably trying to go for Hydro Pump or something. And there it is. Alright. And that is pretty much a decent showcase for Zapdos. As you can see, it's really dependent on having shields, so you really gotta 
set up your team based off of it, and you gotta watch out for Mud Boys and Alola Marowak, mostly because I have Meganium and Deoxys Defense on my team. So, identifying your weakness with a Shadow Pokemon, regardless, is huge for how you decide to run your team, Zapdos especially. Zapdos is amazing, thanks to Thundershock it gets insane output of charge moves, it's just really really fast, and it does amazing damage, and can one hit KO several things if not come ridiculously close, and then Thundershock it down to get a lot of energy. Anyways, thank you all for watching, you guys have a great day, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.